Side tonight, keeping you prepared for storm season. It has been a rough few weeks around here. We have seen several afternoons packed with tornado warning after tornado warning, and those storms did produce confirmed twisters, knocking down trees, scaring the daylights out of people as the winds roared through. I feel at a loss for words, man. It's still overwhelming because, I, like I said, I've been here for a while and I've never seen anything like this, especially a storm of this magnitude in Charlotte. Yeah, those storms also meant hours of live coverage here on WBTV. The first alert weather team tracking the movement community by community. And it led to a question from a viewer who emailed us. They were looking for a little more explanation of the various colors we see on the weather maps like these. Not just the typical radar, you know, where we see when it's raining, but the more in-depth things our team uses to figure out where there could be real danger. So we wanted to take a moment tonight to talk to meteorologist Jason Myers about it. Appreciate the information helping folks out. First, just kind of walk us through the typical radar, right? The one when we know mm -hmm. it's raining and there's obviously various colors on that map as well. I was almost going to laugh. I was going to say, do we have an hour to talk about this? <laughs> I know, because right? We could really go uh, in depth. <laughs> it, it gets very in depth. We'll try to just kind of talk about sure. this from the basics. And yes, you know, the radars, we can change the color of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll notice a legend at the very top, but these radars are off the ground. They're sitting out radar waves as they bounce off of precipitation and go back to the radar side that's measured in what we call decibels and so you see there uh, kind of at the very top uh, at this example here you see the green that mm -hmm. would be lighter rain you get the yellow the orange the red which you get these sure. reds or even magenta color that's the heavier rain and that could signify even some hail in the storms as well I think the ones that really are starting to confuse people, these new tools that you have that really lets you look for rotation in a storm. Uh, explain what they're looking at when they see those colors. Yeah, and so going back to what we see, what we talk about velocity. Mm -hmm. So radar can see wind changing direction. So we're going back to this is a, an example. This is a radar site here from Columbia. You see that single scan there and a little confused. I'm going to take off the arrows here just for a second and we'll redraw them back on just to kind of show you what we're talking about. But the reds are going away from the radar our site mm -hmm. and then the greens are headed back toward it. Now it can be a little confusing because you can see from the other direction it's in the green here. This is going back to the radar site. So what we see is when that gets really tight, we can see rotation okay. and that can signify a tornado. So those those different colors grouped together closely. That's a problem. That's the problem. That's what they've been watching for. We appreciate all you guys do here in the Thanks. first alert weather center.